In today's tutorial, I'm gonna go through how to create this falling leaves effect with an After Effects. I'm gonna break this into three steps. First, I'll show you how to set up this effect from scratch. Then, if you are short on time, I'll show you the exact values and settings I've used so you can just copy them into your own project. And finally, I'll explain a little bit more about the effect itself and show you how you can customize these leaves to suit your own project. Let's jump in. Okay, the first thing that you're going to need for your leaf project is a image of a leaf. So I'm going to drop this on to my composition. Now this can be from anywhere. Um, I'm pretty sure I got mine from Envato Elements and if that is the case I will leave a link for you in the description where I got it. But this can be straight off of Google. Uh, you could have drawn this yourself and brought it in. All that matters is that you have a transparent leaf. So just scale it into the comp so that you can see the whole thing and then just turn off the visibility right here. Then I'm going to go back up to layer and I'm going new solid and I'm going to name this particle layer. Okay. And then I'm going to go to effects and presets and type in CC particle and drop this particle world effect onto my solid layer. So you can't see anything right now, and that's because it takes a little bit for these particles to get going. So just bringing it out, we've got something, not what we want though. So first thing I'm going to do is just change what my particle looks like. So dropping into this particle tab, I'm going to go to particle type and choose textured quad polygon. And then I'm going to go to texture, texture layer and choose my leaf image. Now the reason I chose Texture quad, quad Polygon is because I can adjust this rotation, which I'll play around with that in a little minute. But first I'm just going to make this look a little bit more like leaves, because if I play this through it's just kind of exploding out of this main point. So to fix that, I'm going to go to the producer. And I can adjust the radius, which is going to stretch this out on the X. And I can adjust the Y as well. And looking a bit better because it's covering the screen, but I don't really want it looking like it's being chucked at me. So I'm going to go to physics and change the animation type to twirly. Um, so really, at this point, the best thing that you can be doing and should be doing, because my project is not your project, you might have um, your leaves blowing in a very windy day and mine might be a chill day. So the really what you want to do is go onto Google or YouTube or whatever and start looking at images, uh, start looking at videos of leaves blowing in the wind. But I'm just going to quickly go through and make my changes and then I will come back and walk you through and tell you why I've done a few things. Okay, so this is what I am looking at. You will see here this entire setup. Now, if you just want to have these leaves looking exactly the same, go ahead, just fill in all those values and you will be done. Congratulations. But if you just want a slight um, understanding of what's going on here, let me just walk it through very quick. So the birth rate, if I change this to say 15, we're going to have many more particles, which always looks so amazing. How pretty is that? Um, so more particles. The longevity is how long it's on the screen. So if I brought the birth rate up to Oh, let's, if I brought the longevity down to one, you will see these kind of flash on and flash off very quickly. So obviously if your birthright is higher and your longevity is longer, that means they're staying on the screen longer. It's going to have a lot more particles. Now I tend to like keeping the birthright very low and keeping the longevity at around 10 seconds. I kind of like to estimate my longevity for how long I want my particles to be on the screen. Okay, so adjusting the producer settings is kind of, well, if I drag this around here, you can see this is the position of the producer itself, whereas adjusting the radius is how big it is. You saw earlier, I expanded this out 
and um, it's centered off the edge of the screen. So it basically means that the particles will be starting off screen, which is going to depend on what you're using it for, right? I think I've got a confetti video and I had it kind of all exploding from this main point. In this case, I want them floating in off the screen. Right, right here is the physics tab. Now this is the main area that you are going to start adjusting to start simulating the weather effects from your reference video that you are using. For example, velocity. Adjusting the velocity is controlling how f the speed that the particles are moving away from the source. So um, for example, if I lower this down to one, these particles are not, they don't have that kind of burst of energy that you were seeing before. The energy is just a lot lower, it's a lot uh, kind of more like snowfall, whereas raising it up high you can see lots of these round um, kind of crazy energetic movements. Um, gravity, adjusting this is obviously how fast that it's falling. Now for example I could go minus one and you're actually not seeing a ton of them because the remember the producer is up here somewhere but you can see that they are floating upwards or I could change it to 30 and the leaves are now plummeting towards the ground. So if you were having a really windy day, that could be a way that you affect it. I like to just kind of keep my gravity. I usually go between 0 0.3 and one, kind of keep it kind of a realistic gravity. And if I do want to adjust the speed, I usually use the resistance. So resistance is kind of how much resistance there is to them falling right so if I bring this up to 50 they are barely moving at all um extra and extra angle do you know you know how the, the way I figure these things out is just to kind of play with them looks like it's adding some sort of spin in this case I didn't really adjust it I didn't find it necessary um I direction axes is kind of where it's flying yeah, I'm pretty sure I had a snow particle video and in that video I was adjusting this quite a lot. Um, again, I just kind of <laughs> play around with them to see what they're actually doing in the moment. What else is going to be of service to you? The rotation. So this is how much it's rotating. I've got no initial rotation. Now I've got 360, the rotation speed. If I play through, you'll see that it's spinning quite quickly. If I bring this down to zero, there's no real spin on it at all, is it? So yeah, birth size and death size, you'll notice that I've done the same. I would recommend that you do the same because when a leaf falls from the tree, it doesn't really get smaller as it goes down, right? So that's what these settings do. I could set this to one and you'll notice that it's kind of growing over time. Or you could set it the other way where it shrinks over time. Uh, but I don't want that because they're solid when they fall from the tree, right? So... Three point, were they the same? I'm pretty sure they were, but if they weren't, 3.920, yeah. So, um, and for that reason, the same reason, I don't really, maybe they weren't the same. It looks like I've had a setting change here. What's happened here? Oh, I've gone one too far and I've got some minus one on my gravity. Right, so um, for the same reason, I don't tend to add too much size variation. I mean, I could, but I don't want it kind of heavily randomized. Now, the opacity, please pay attention because for some reason, the amount of times that I have opened up this particle world and cursed and not noticed the opacity map, which is funny because I knew the setting existed and I was kind of like, why did they get rid of it? Um, and I just realized it was here about five minutes ago and it's changed my whole life so you'll notice that these appear to be solid all the way through so what this opacity map is doing and it's you might have something that looks like this um, and you'll notice that in some 
of the opacity it's like fading in to solid this is I think this is its um, opacity over life so I wanted my leaves to be completely solid so I've filled this in completely and it seems to yeah you can really see it there it's got rid of the issue of it fading in and out because I just want it solid so in your case make sure to just fill that up and then you're not having to worry about a huge length of time where your leaves are fading into existence what else can I show you I believe that is it you can have an effect camera and stuff oh yeah if I bring this out um, you could definitely play around with that one one other thing if you wanted to duplicate your layer you can just randomize this you can change this number as many times as you want and it will adjust the location of the leaves um, if there's like one random leaves that's really annoying you you just change that number and it, you can have another setting check out this video right here to see what else you can do in after effects see you in the next one bye Thank you.